What's up, it's the Emperor Pro here. All right, so I got some super freaking cool news. I now have multi-threading working in RPG Maker. Now, this little demo isn't much, but this little black square is being processed um, on an entirely different thread. Well, sort of, its locations are. Now, how this works, uh, it's pretty simple. I started rewriting my um, un-PG thing because now it's gonna support multi-threading. So basically, what, all I'm doing right now is just kind of, this is the thread, this is the other thread. Uh, so if we wanna do uh, Y positioning, yeah, anyways, um, I'm all over the place right now, I'm sorry. I'm really excited. This is giant and this is awesome. And yeah, ignore that. It's, these are basic small problems that I'm gonna be fixing. Anyways, um, it's freaking heckin' awesome. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That's very descriptive, Craig. <laughs> Basically, what this means is, for those who are confused, which by now, the way I'm sounding, you're probably extremely confused. <laughs> uh, what multi-threading does is it allows us to take giant tasks like um, looping through sprite coordinates, uh, checking to see if sprites are on screen so that we can decide if the renderer wants to render them, all that stuff. It can now be done on a separate thread, which basically means it's almost like it's not even processing on the part that's running the game. Almost. Kind of like that. In other words, where we could no where we would normally lag with like a hundred sprites on the screen, uh, for example, you can now have like way more, um, a lot more, like a gar gargantuan amount more, and it's pretty simple to do. Um, yeah, see as you can see, we have an update function for a special class sprite that I wrote. Anyways, um, I may do tutorial on it, but it is a little bit confusing and brain damaging but yeah it's not at the same time it's easy but it's hard to get working it's, it's so confusing to explain but yeah i'll see you guys later thank you guys so much for watching and this is super cool because we're about to really break the limits of rpg maker oh and i forgot to mention this is cross compatible with browsers yes so if you plan on making your game run on a browser or even mobile this will work for that as well <laughs> so yeah dude multi f and threading for the win.